This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hey, my name is Ruby. Um, I listen to the show all the time, usually while I'm doing Grubhub or DoorDash. Hopefully, I have a lot of time for this story because, honestly, it's kind of a long story. So, um, I actually was involved in an exorcism. I was the one getting exercised, and so I thought that you guys might want to hear about this story. Um, to start off, basically, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia back in 2020, but I'm not schizophrenic. I am queer audient, and I know that sounds like a stretch, but let me explain why I believe that. So, um, basically, we have this generational curse. It's a demon that has been following our, our family for I don't even know how many years. Um, and it's, I know for a fact that it's following our family because whenever my father died was the exact day that I had a psychotic break. Um, so that wasn't fun. Um, pretty sure that was just a possession happening. And, um, now that I, it ha- that we've done the exorcism, it has gone to my brother. So, which is exactly what it told me that it would do. It told me, hey, you know, whenever, if you get rid of me, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to jump to your brother. And if your brother, jump, you know, gets rid of me, that doesn't matter because I'm just going to jump to his son who's about two years old. So right now, me and my brother are both in this place where it's kind of jumping back in between us. Like, it's like in a void. Um, it's like in this void, dimensional void that it's just kind of stuck there right now. And we're trying to stick it there so that way it can't keep following our family. But... um Anyway, so my friend is a shaman. He came over and did an exorcism for me, basically just did a banishing, a smudging of the house. And through my third eye, I'm also clairvoyant, so I'm able to see a lot of spirits. And I was able to see a spirit, a a girl, um, a woman who used to be a witch. So she has part of a soul. So she was very hard to banish. Um, And then I also saw another uh, entity And I also saw an incubus that was about uh, probably seven to eight feet tall. This thing was like the size of a quarterback. Um, And he, oh, my God, he literally ran at my friend who was a shaman um, and attacked him. He had bruises on him. Um, And the thing is, it usually feeds on us whenever we're sleeping. So we've we've come to the conclusion that it's an incubus um, because it's, I mean, if you know anything about incubuses, you'll understand what I mean. Um, but regardless, they used to feed on us in our sleep. And I know for a fact that it wasn't just me because any person who slept in my room was attacked by this incubus. They used to have horrible, horrible nightmares. My friend was having horrible, horrible nightmares whenever she lived in that room. The second I moved into that room, I had these terrible nightmares to the point where I was so exhausted that I couldn't, like, I just... I would go to bed and I would wake up even more tired than whenever I went to bed because this thing was feeding on me. And it told me in my dream that it was very easy to feed on me whenever I drank because I used to be an alcoholic. I used to be very addicted to drugs. Um, and so it used to feed on me whenever I would come home and I would be just hammered. Um, and so, and that's because your vibration is lower. If your vibration is lower, that means that you're, that you're not as protected and that means that you will be attacked. Um, especially if you're sleeping. I mean, that's, that's probably whenever you're the most, um, you're the most vulnerable. So anyways, my friend comes over, he's a shaman. We start doing the smudging. We were able to banish three out of the four, um, spirits that were there. Um, um, we were able to trap the main incubus in the TV because any screen or window or door corners, those are all portals. So we were, I literally watched this demon in the mirror run into the TV. And the only reason, and and before he did that, he gripped onto my arm whenever we were banishing it in my closet, in my room where he usually fed on us. Whenever he, he gripped onto me so hard that I had a bruise there for two to three weeks. So I know that I'm not imagining this. Um, It used to, it, it flew into the TV. I slept over at my friend's house who is a witch he, she sleeps across from the mirror, which I don't know why she sleeps across from the mirror, but regardless, I turned my back to the mirror and it ended up coming out of the mirror and attacking my friends who were both witches. So they have experience in this. It attacked both of them. Um, and they explained to it, you know, this is not our battle. You need to leave. It left. It came after me again. And then my friend who is Christian 
which I used to be extremely Christian, but I walked away from the faith. She came over and this thing, I felt it behind me started hissing at her. It was like, why is she so pure? You know, like, why is she so pure? I don't like her. And she ended up giving me another exorcism that night. And whenever she told me to bring Jesus back into my heart, it was like, it was like all this darkness that had been following me completely just turned into light. Like it was like, it was, it was in the middle of the night. And yet it it was like sunlight had hit my eyelids whenever you're sleeping, you know, whenever you, you have your eyes closed and you feel light go across your eyes. That's exactly what it was like. It was like my eyes filled with light and this thing stopped following me. And now, like I said, it's just jumping in between me and my brother and I, and there's so much more that happened. Like, I got to meet the hat man um, back. I don't know if that was the incubus just disguising itself. Um, I, my friends have seen um, like a pig demon running around. I, we're pretty sure that that's what it is, is a pig demon. But regardless, it does not want to stop attaching to our family. And so we're, me and my brother are working together with Jesus to try and find a way to banish this demon um, or just get it stuck in the void so that way it can't pass down to our next of kin. So that's my exorcism story. Having a bruise on my arm from a demon was the most wild thing. Um, feeling the demon behind me and seeing it uh, as, as how tall it was, it was so big. It was so strong. Um, it was so old. And it is not nice. Um, I basically went into psychosis for a few months. I had to go to the psychiatric ward. Um, my brothers still don't believe me. My grandmother does, but my little brother and I, we understand what it is because now it's coming after him and now he's having the nightmares and, um, it's starting to talk to him in his dreams. Um, and I warned him before I jumped to him that it was going to happen. And he was like, Hey, it happened. You know, I'm fighting it off, um, now and I'm myself, I'm fighting it off as well. So it's kind of just, it's stuck in this void now, um, Wish us luck. We're still trying to get rid of it. If you want to hear any more ghost stories, I have many, many, many of them. I'm clairaudient. I'm claircognizant. I'm clairvoyant. Um, and I believe that you can tap into all of your clair abilities if you try. So thank you so much for listening to me. I hope this goes on air. It's okay if not, but I wanted to tell you at least because I feel like we're friends just because <laughs> we're like coworkers because I'm always delivering stuff while I'm listening to the show. So um, something in me, I think my spirit guides were just telling me to kind of spread awareness about that this, these things are real. And I thought that you guys might think this is kind of a cool story. And honestly, it's, it's, uh, not as long as I thought it was going to be, but I think this is enough time that kind of gets the story across. And if you need any clarification, feel free to email me. Um, I guess you don't have my email, but feel free to call me back if that's possible. And I will totally discuss this with you. I would love to talk to you or tell you any more ghost stories. Anyways, thanks, guys. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.